Uh, my name is Jackie and I'm a professor here at Seneca Polytech and today what we're going to talk about is how to use the Keysight 34461A digital multimeter. Okay, so once you're in the lab here, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the multimeter is off okay, and we're going to unplug all the cable let's plug into it, okay, just so that we have nothing plugged into the multimeter, and then we're going to turn on the multimeter by pressing the on button. Okay, it's going to take a few seconds for the multimeter to load up, and what we're trying to do today is we're trying to measure the resistance, the resistance of a resistor. Okay, so what we have here is we have a 10K resistor, okay, and what we want to do is we want to set the digital multimeter to resistance measuring mode. So how we get to resistor measuring mode is there is a button in the resistor, uh, sorry, in the multimeter, because the multimeter can measure voltage, current in both AC and DC, as well as frequency, resistance, and capacitance as well, which we're going to demonstrate in some of the other video. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is when we want to measure resistance, we have to plug the cable into the resistor plug, okay, the one that has V, the omega symbol in there. So that's what we want, right there. And then for the black cable or the common one, we're going to put it in the, uh, the black mode, the black plug here. Okay. So that is how we set up the cable connection lines to measure resistance. And then afterward, what we want to do is we want to press the omega symbol, omega 2W, right there. And that will bring us to 2Y resistance mode. Okay. All the range is on, and right now it's saying overload because the two alligator clip is not connected together, so that's why there's infinite resistance going on. And if we actually touch, try to touch this, okay, we'll get very, very small resistance. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to use the two alligator clip, okay, and we are going to clip it on to our resistor here, which is a 10K resistor. So let me just connect them. 10K on one side, this on the other side. And now what we can see here is we see a 10 kilo ohm in terms of resistance. Now it says 0 0.983, which is fine because those resistors that we have have a 5% tolerance. So as long as it is within the 5% tolerance, then we are good. So let's just put it closer here. 10K resistor. So afterward, once we have the resistor measure, Okay, one of the key things that you want to remember is when you're measuring resistance, okay, always measure resistance with the resistor out in the open. Do not try to measure resistance when the resistor is in the circuit because when you have resistor in the circuit, they might be connected in series or in parallel with some other resistor or other component in the circuit so then you won't be able to get a very accurate reading. Okay, so at the end, once you finish taking your resistor measurement, okay, it's always a good idea to turn the DMM back off. So We'll turn the power back off. Now, if you don't want to turn it back off, that's fine as well, but remember to unplug this, okay, just so that when we want to measure current or voltage later on, you always remember to change the connection. Okay, thank you very much, and join us on some of the other videos.